Kirby and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. We have just dressing a normal candle. So this is a small little candle. My fingers have weird bits of wax in them. Um, so this is a, a small little candle. This is another one of the ones that I purchased recently. Um, a nice little purple candle. And uh, so if you were going to dress the candle for a little spell, um, you would again make the candle into a void. So um, one technique is starting in the center and using your hands, um, twisting out that energy. Okay, so you twist it out and that you're pulling out the energy, pulling it all out. And you go the other way and again from the center out, pulling out all that energy. So we're going out and away, out and away, making the candle into a void. Okay, now your candle, it can be any color. So we will just, you can put a sigil on there that you have um, created or some words to some effect. So we're just going to uh, carve in success. So you can do this with um, with a bowline, which is uh, usually a white handled knife uh, or some kind of instrument that you will use for carving. Um, I'm using another one of these little um, skewers just for uh, for ease. And then, so success, we'll say that it's going to be success with wealth. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but I've written success and I've placed little lines in them so it's like like little money symbols. Oh, that's better if you can see it that way. Little money symbols. Um, now, what you would do is you would have your oil. Now, I've got a little bit of Hi John the Conqueror root oil here, which is quite nice. So again, less is more. You don't need to soak the candle in some oil. So just a line that goes down the, uh, the side. And this is where you would then push uh, your intent in. So starting from the outside and working your way in, you would push the intent. You know, Visualize and think about what it is that you that you want this candle to achieve and you would twist it in and then you would go to the other side and you would twist it in getting all that oil on your fingers and pushing it into the candle twisting and pushing twisting and pushing okay twisting and pushing and then you would place a little pentacle on the bottom just with your finger, I'm sure if you can see that, just looks like a, a mass of lines. And then with the, the, the oil that's still on your finger, you can just twist the, uh, the wick. As I said, that will help with uh, lighting the candle, but it's a way of sealing that energy in so it doesn't leak out when you don't want it to. So it's sealing that energy in. And you can also, when you... Um, put oil onto your candle you can put a little bit of um, a little bit of powder on there so you can powder up some herbs um, if the herbs are too big uh, they they kind of kind of fall off when it comes to these sort of candles. So you have the powder. This one here is um, it's called All Saints Powder and it's for, you know, for attracting good spirits. So I would like to attract some good spirits with the success in this candle. So you just cover cover the candle with your, with your powder. 
and this is obviously going to soak up the oil which is fine because now you've got the powder and the oil soaking together but this also if you can see really brings out the sigil or the word that you have written on your candle um, kind of makes it pop as they say so you rub get as much on there as you can make sure that the candle is just full of that powder and oh again too high so there you can see that and then obviously you would burn that candle in a ritual and uh, be quite successful so that's another way of dressing a candle I hope you enjoyed that. Merry meet, merry part, merry meet again. Blessed be.